Well, howdy. How you doing? Hope you're doing all right. So I thought I'd do another video. Um, also wanted to talk about the third worst thing that I've done. The second worst thing, um, I'll talk about that way later on because I could probably still get in trouble for that. So we'll talk about the third worst thing. So when I was in first grade, I went to Wolferth and, uh, there, I had this friend named Marshall, and he and I, we were friends. He lived on my block on Harvard, and uh, I and him, we got along pretty well. And then one day, I don't know what happened, he decided he didn't like me anymore. And uh, we used to play this game called Bumper Cars, and we would just, like, run into each other like this, you know. And it was just playful, you know, not, not being mean or brutal or anything like that. And... Uh, he decided that he was going to knock me down. Well, I mean, that made me mad. And uh, I don't know what happened, but he ended up on my leg and he wouldn't let it go. I told him, let it go. Let go of my leg. Let go of my leg. Let go of my leg. He did not let go of my leg. And so what I did was punched his face with my fist and so later on I got called into the office and the principal Mr. Garcia he said that he had witnesses that said I hit that boy's face with a rock I didn't do that I used my hand and I demolished that boy's face. I feel bad about it. I hit him so hard that they moved. I didn't ever see that dude again. Like, uh, it, I told him it, it wasn't a rock, sir, it was my hand. I told him three times and I barely told my parents about that this 2023. <clears throat> they had no idea. I don't know why Mr. Garcia didn't tell them. But, you know, it's just another weird thing that happened. So, why am I telling you now? I don't know. It just feels right. So. I don't like being violent. But I'm good at it. So, I just, I don't want to be that person. I want to be more like Jesus. And I've had to fight my nature all my life now. I haven't gotten in all that many fights. And uh, I'd really rather be pleasant than, than mean. But Jesus built me this way. And... You don't want to be mistaken. You don't want to be taken to the, the place of torment. There's no good there. Because everything that you've done wrong, you're going to relive it. And you're going to know that you're wrong for doing it. And you're not going to be able to stop. There's no water. There's no food. There's no air. Everything about that place is uncomfortable. Every aspect of that place is absolute torture. And it gets incrementally worse for the rest of eternity. Don't go there. Jesus is giving you an out. See, if you're covered in his blood, then you're a part of his body. And you will not be wrapped up in the the wrath of the Lamb, because the wrath of the Lamb is thorough. It is absolutely thorough. He is so thorough with his hatred of sin. And if you don't repent, then you're still in your sin. He's going to get you. Okay? I love you.
He loves you. Take his out. Take his forgiveness. Because you can't handle the ass whooping he's going to give you. Okay? I love you. He loves you. Have a great day.